Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. If you're new here, we're here to see what your person is currently thinking and feeling about you and your connection. I will pull some cards on their intentions as well after we're done with this part of the reading. And then after that, we will also get a future outcome prediction. I don't know if you guys just saw that, it probably caught it on camera. Um, I have my like little ring light over there set on red right now and on rare occasion a little tiny segment of it blinks a different color and this time it was green. Um, when that happens I note like chakra energies that are associated with the color that it blinks which was green of course the heart chakra. So I think your person is really in their feels over you right now they're either feeling heartbroken or um, like an abundance of love and I only say either or because I have to take a look at the cards real quick and channel the message to kind of like narrow it down for you guys okay so far to be honest with you I have a pretty easy going feeling so let's see well first of all we have the eight of pentacles king of cups ten of pentacles six of cups and the two of swords the two of swords came out last let me get a clarifier on that real quick before we chat because the rest of the reading seems overwhelmingly positive. Okay, the Page of Cups. Ah, okay, so your person, the Two of Swords in this context isn't like a heavy energy. They may have something they want to apologize to you for and they're wondering whether or not they should do that or if they're going to come back in and do that, okay? I don't think it's anything particularly heavy, but I do think that there is something weighing on your person's heart that they want to get off their chest and to talk to you about. Um, they feel like they owe you an apology, but they're in this Two of Swords energy, which means they're undecided. They're not quite sure whether or not they're going to do that just yet. They're thinking about it and kind of like mulling it over in their head. Um, they might even be thinking of like a plan on how to do that, like what they need to say, what they need to do to rectify the situation, whatever they want to apologize for. This person is working on understanding you and your connection better and more importantly themselves because that came out right before the king of cups here which is telling me that your person is working on like their emotional energy at this time in general i feel like they're not only trying to understand your feelings and where you are coming from but more importantly they're trying to understand their own feelings and where they are coming from i feel like your person is kind of doing a deep dive right now um, trying to sort things out, figure it out. I wouldn't be surprised if they're consulting someone about this too, like if they're actually getting help at this time, like through therapy or talking it out with friends and family, um, just to get some input and to better understand themselves and where they're coming from, especially if they did recently do something where they feel like they need to apologize to you. They might be trying to understand like what actions or what emotions led them to take the actions or to say the words or whatever it was that they now feel like they need to apologize for, if that makes sense. Um, they have the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Cups coming out as well, okay? The Six of Cups is reunion energy. It's also reconciliation energy um, and even feelings of nostalgia. You could have known this person for a really long time. Maybe the two of you have a long history with each other or you just really feel like home to one another. And I think this is something that your person thinks about a lot, that you feel like home. There's something very familiar about your energy um, in a really positive way. They could also want to reconcile with you, especially if they did do or say something that hurt you or like created drama or upset in this connection. They want to come in and clear the air. Um, they there's just something very home like about you. They, it keeps coming through over and over and over again, almost like a past life type of connection. I usually read that with six of cups, especially depending on the other energies that are coming out and what I am like intuitively channeling essentially and in this context yes this does feel like some sort of a past life connection or the two of you are soul family okay then we have the ten of pentacles which is talking about like literal family building a family building a legacy and i think that that's something that they're thinking about pretty heavily at this time could even involve like maybe um, for some of you out there, this is going to be a specific message, but this could even involve like going back to travel to your own like 
like I was gonna say homeland, possibly homeland, yeah, especially if this is long distance, like traveling to see where one or both of you grew up or came from, possibly this person could be thinking about like visiting your hometown or where you grew up, visiting your family or vice versa. That could be something that they're thinking about at this time, especially because we have the Six of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles coming out together. This person thinks about building a legacy with you and also they kind of want to see what got you to where you are right now. Like they want to know more about you. They want to do a digger, a deeper dig or a deeper dive into who you are um, or that's reversed. They want you to see that within them. Like they want to take you to their hometown. They want to show you off to their family, so on and so forth. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing here for their primary thoughts and feelings right now towards you. Let's get out their intentions. I'd like to see um, what their, let's do what their overall intentions are in this connection. And then I will pick it apart a little bit more as well. So what are this person's overall intentions in this connection at this time? Like long term, what are their overall intentions? Please, spiritual team. We have the fool, definitely could involve travel could also involve a new beginning. If this is a person from your past, like an ex, okay, um, they do want to come in and reconcile, apologize to you, something like that, and have a new beginning, okay? Nine of Swords, there's some suffering going on here that they want to put an end to more than likely. Let's clarify that, actually. Let's get more insight. Talk to me about the Nine of Swords for this person's long-term intentions, please. Because from what I've gathered here so far, I don't think that they're like out to get you. They're not like out to cause anxiety or something like that. I'm not picking up that vibe at all from this reading. I don't take this person as like a vindictive or vengeful type at all. Okay. Yeah, see, because we have the lovers coming out and um, the knight of swords. Okay. So <laughs> I'm trying to pull on their long term intentions towards you however they have other plans um this could still be somewhat long term like within the next few weeks or months or something like that um but i think that their primary focus right now and what wants to come through is like mostly like what's coming next and i'll get a little bit more specific with the tarot i'll pull on their literal next moves towards you um but i feel like yeah there's been a pain point because we have that page of cups coming out here okay um, there's been something that needs to be rectified. There's a situation where the two of you need to reconcile and have like a fresh start, new beginning, clear the slate, um, talk things over, okay? Um, because this person does want to be with you, okay? Because we have the lovers. They want to be with you or they want to stay with you depending on what your situation is, okay? If this is a person from your past, they want to come back in and try again with you um, to like fix the wounds that the two of you have with each other, clear the slate. Um, I was gonna say clean the air, <laughs> clear the air, clean the slate um, and talk it over with you, especially with the Knight of Swords coming out like that and try again in romance. If this is someone you're currently with or currently seeing, same deal there. They still want a clean slate with you. They want to figure it out. They want to get to the bottom of this. And most importantly, it involves communication and a conversation, okay? And a fresh start. And possibly travel as well, okay? Possibly travel could be important in the near future or in the future in general. Now, let's see what their literal next moves are towards you because... I don't know. That's interesting. They didn't want me to pull too much on the long term right now. I think this person's mind is really focused on like the immediate future, like what is coming next between the two of you, especially if there is like a more serious incident that's happened recently or something like that, um, that they, they know they need to clear the air on. So maybe they're not thinking long term at this moment in time. That doesn't mean that they don't see long-term potential in this. It just means that there are some things that they need to get out of their head and their heart before they're going to be able to like make long-term plans. If that makes sense, okay? So we have the eight of uh, wands coming out. So communication. I think communication is really important to your person right now. And we're talking about their literal next moves towards you right now. So communicating, okay? We also have the hermit could be after a period of separation or like a hiatus or ghosting or something like that. Or maybe the two of you are not currently communicating right now and communication is what's coming next. Okay. We have the devil. Okay. Let's get a clarifier card on that. 
I'll, look, I'll explain my reaction in a second, you guys, depending on, like, what the answers are. This person might want to have, like, a makeup encounter with you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure out a way to phrase that. Yeah, they might want to have, like, some kind of, like, passionate make makeup moment, if you get what I'm saying. We have the Nine of Cups coming out. Okay. Yeah, something about travel keeps coming through over and over and over again. They want to talk about the travel with you. I don't know what that is. If you want to drop the comment a comment down below, you can. And if you'd like me to do an extended on this, especially if the travel portion is resonating with you, I'd be more than happy to. I do extendeds all the time. And if you're interested in those, check the description down below. It's on my Patreon and you get access to all of them over there. I don't think I'm going to do an extended unless you guys ask for it for this reading though. But anyway, there's definitely something involving travel here because it's come out in every single section. Um, now, when it comes to this person's next moves, we have communication, possibly after like a hiatus or some ghosting or some time apart, um, either a long time, short time, doesn't really matter. I think they want to bridge that gap and come in and like stop the the silence between the two of you. Again, maybe have a little bit of a passionate makeup encounter or something like that um and like let you know that they want to travel with you that they want to move things forward with you okay um it's a positive context if it doesn't involve literal travel we could be talking about um it being more metaphorical like moving on moving forward keeping things in motion but i do think that for most of you it involves literal travel especially if this is a long distance connection or something like that okay so that's what I'm seeing there. This went a little bit longer than I had originally planned, but that's just fine. I think what we're going to do next is hop into the message from the universe portion. If you're new to the channel, I like to seal off all of my readings with a short message just for you that relates to this connection or not. I leave it open, open-ended for whatever you need to hear the most. And if you are new and you're not already subscribed, here is your friendly reminder to subscribe. I put out readings every single day and readings of all different like time brackets. I do quick ones, I do medium ones like this one, and I do longer, more in-depth pop-up readings as well. So you're welcome to stick around and stay. Okay, so your first message. We are always speaking to you and sending you messages. When you feel like you are alone in a situation, just know that you never truly are. We are reminding you to stop, look around, and believe in something else, something more. We've got your back. Message from your divine team. Okay? And then the last thing we're going to do is split the deck here and get you out your affirmation of the day. If you've made it this far into the reading, drop a butterfly emoji down below to let me know. If you'd like to claim this affirmation, you can comment that as well or read it aloud with me. Even when things aren't perfect or don't seem to be working out, I choose to trust in life. I'm going to leave this here. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day or night. And until next time, bye for now.